What's up, Vinyl Community? It's Jason coming at you from the Jazz Basement with an exciting video. I found my grail. So, um, just going to show you one record in this one. Um, short and sweet video, but really, really excited about this. Um, you know, as collectors, we're always trying to find, you know, the, the music that speaks to us. And when you find that, it's really special. Uh, and, and obviously you want to find the best, you know, best version of that that you can. So um, as many of you can tell from a lot of my videos, I really love hard bop. Um, and most of my collection is hard bop. Uh, and there's a lot of really good selections to, to choose from. Uh, but there's one record in particular that I've had my eye on for years. Um, and I was first introduced to this record um, about two years ago when Music Matters had released, I think they had released eight or ten of the really classic blue notes um, on the SRX vinyl. And I was able to uh, get most of those. I got everything except for Lee Morgan's Search for the New Land, um, which is in hindsight one of the ones that I, I wish I had gotten. Um, they had sold out before I, I could put it in my cart. Um, but the one record that, out of all those that I've spun the most, um, is is this next record and I have the the SRX again beautiful presentation great and it was one where when I put the record on it just sucked me in um, it was you know just just beautiful music um, so I went on a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a journey to find this one um, every record store that I've been into I always ask about it even you know places like HR or Psalm Records or Record Exchange of Silver Spring, which I, oh, I traffic quite frequently. You know, they know me well. They know if they get this record in, give me a call. Um, a lot of my friends on YouTube, Instagram, know that this was the number one grail for me. And I was determined in 2022 to get three grails. I had three grails on, on my list. I got the first two. Uh, which was Bill Evans, Sunday at the Village Vanguard, and Waltz for Debbie, very early on, like the first week of January. So two of the three were scratched off the list. And then my focus became on finding this next record. So without further ado, I'd love to share with you my number one grail, which is Hank Mobley, Soul Station. Uh, this is an original press. It's in great shape, as you can see. From the um, the cover is VG plus all the way around spines great the backs pretty much perfect there's a small stamp there but that doesn't bother me it's it's better than marker in, in my opinion but just talk about the lineup here so a this was released I think in 1960 or uh, 1960 you have Hank Mobley on the saxophone at the peak of his game in in my opinion supported by an A-list. Wynton Kelly on the piano. You have Paul Chambers on bass and then Art Blakey on the sticks. Now Art Blakey, in my opinion, never made a bad record. So starting from a very, very strong uh, lineup um, right out of the gate. And what did it for me was was the music. It's, it's beautiful music. Um, this is, I think, the first record where Hank Mobley was the sole um, brass. So he's not playing with Lee Morgan on a trumpet. So you can really kind of focus in on his playing. And there's a really nice interplay between Wynton Kelly's piano playing and his soloing and Hank Mobley's soloing. Um, four of the six tracks are Hank Mobley original. So you get a little bit of his compositions. Um, and then Blakey does what Blakey does best and just kind of hard driving, beautiful rhythms um and then paul chambers one of the best bass players ever so they just kind of it just all comes together this to me is is uh musically a perfect record um and it's one where the moment i spun it with that srx it's like i've got to find this this is amazing um in terms of the the record itself there we go you can see uh deep groove beautiful uh mono the, the West 63rd New York, uh, New York City labels. Um, just a really beautiful press. This is really tough to find in this type of condition. 
So, how did I get it? I wish I had a really cool backstory on this um, that I found it in a thrift, thrift store or something like that. I didn't. I actually bought this on eBay, and I usually do not do eBay, but um, it's been in my want list for Discogs. Um, a cup of a VG plus copy sold like in early March. I totally missed it. I don't think it was on Discogs for more than a couple of hours. It was a good price. Um, and this is a tough record to find. This isn't one that you can necessarily go in to any store and even find a, a Liberty Press of. Um, now, it was reissued on, on the Classic Series, so it is available. Um, and I highly recommend it. If you do not have a copy of this record, this is a top five, top ten. For me, it's, it's number one. You know, this is my desert island. Um, so I had to find this and I had been looking on eBay. I had bid before and lost out. eBay's kind of crazy right now where, you know, in the last 10 seconds, there might be a record for $200. And then, you know, in the last 10 seconds, it goes for a thousand. That's just the state of the market right now. So I was a little bit worried with this one, but I found it on eBay and, um, I put a bid in early and got it outbid immediately. So that's okay. At least it's, it's in the system. It's on my mind. Let me think about this. And the details were kind of scant on it. You know, I had a picture of the cover front and back, and it had a picture of the side two label and had a little bit of, um, you know, a, a little bit of info. It said it was deep groove. It had the ear and there aren't a lot of pressings to choose from. Right. So it looked like it was an original copy. The seller was reputable been in the business for a long period of time, had 100% feedback, which isn't a guarantee, you know, that something can always slip through the cracks or, or back out, but um, it did have a money back guarantee. So I said, okay, I'm going to go for this. I had emailed him, asked for some more information, said, hey, what what's the condition here? You have it listed as VG+. What does that really mean? And, and he wrote back, he's like, listen, it plays beautifully. There's no pops, there's no ticks, there's no scratches. There's a small paper uh, paper scuff on one side and the other side has a couple of hairlines. None of it affects play. I said, okay, I'm gonna go for it. Um, so I did and I was uh, uh, texting with uh, uh, Dylan at Noble Records and, and he was really egging me on. He's like, you gotta go big on this one. You gotta take this one home, it looks really clean. Um, he has a really clean copy, personal copy. So, um, I did, I put in a bid. Um, I put the max bid that I was comfortable with that if it went for over that amount, I wasn't going to lose any sleep. And that's how I approach eBay. I buy a record a year on eBay, um, for something that I really, really want. And this is one that was at the top of my list. So put it in, um, it actually went for a lot less than what I thought, than my max bid. Um, it didn't go crazy in the last 10 seconds, which was sort of surprising. And, and I think that, um, you know, immediately after the auction, I didn't have buyer's remorse. I wasn't like, oh man, I just totally overspent on this. Um, but then, you know, you have to wait, right? Um, so paid for up, you know, paid for insurance, paid for up, upgraded shipping. I just wanted it as soon as I could. Uh, and it, it arrived yesterday, got home from work, opened it up and tried not to get too excited, right? Cause there's any number of things can go wrong, right? So I opened it up. Everything was intact. It was packed really well. Cover is great. As you can see, you know, no ring wear, um, no seam splits, you know, a little bit of chipping in one of the quarters. It's a laminated cover. So it cleans up really nice. I cleaned it up and then started to inspect the wax. And it's like, this is a lot better than I thought. The hairline that he was talking about, you can't see unless it's under a really bright light. It's about a centimeter, not feelable, barely recognizable. Same with the paper scuffs. Um, this could very easily grade EX, um, but the, you know, the seller was, was conservative, which, which worked in my favor. Um, so I cleaned it up, put it through the ultrasonic cleaner, nice luster to the disc. And, um, and then it was the moment of truth, right? Put it on the platter, give it a spin. Like what you, you, you can't see groove wear. And sometimes you can't see a, a, a pop or a tick or a skip, but play through beautifully, great fidelity as, as you're expecting, um, or, or as you would expect with, with the blue note and, and Van Gelder mastered. 
and it, it just blew me away. So um, I can't tell you how happy I am to have this in my collection. Um, highly recommend it if you don't have it. Um, highly recommend an OG if you can find one and it's clean. They're not, they're, they're findable. Um, they're, it's not the rarest blue note out there. I mean, Hank Mobley has plenty of other stuff from the 1500 series that goes for multiples of, of what this does, um, for, for clean copies. But to me, this is the perfect hard bop album. I'm still in disbelief. Um, I've spun it a bunch of times and, and the music just grabs me and for all the reasons I had mentioned earlier. So, um, you know, hold on to your dreams. Don't give up. You never know. Um, and, and if you see something go big, uh, and you won't regret it. I certainly don't regret this. This is, you know, if I had to sell all my records, this would be the last one that, that I would sell. And I hope I'm never in a position to do that. I hope I can, uh, you know, pass it down to my six year old son, uh, when he's older and if he's into jazz. So, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, really, really appreciate the support. Hope you enjoyed this story. Um, and uh, I'm gonna shoot a video. I've, I've hit my one year anniversary on the channel. It's a little bit over, a couple weeks overdue, uh, but I've got some other really great heat that I'd love to share with you. Um, but I couldn't wait on this one. I, I, I just, I had to shoot this video. So anyway, until next time, have a good one and uh, we'll see you around.